Hey, how you doing? I'm uh, Harold Leach with uh, JED Alliance Group, and today we're demonstrating how to put on a Pump Boss 2. This is a, a newer system, an auto link system. So uh, let's get started. So you have the auto link receiver, you have the belt strap for the receiver, or I'm sorry, the transmitter, uh, aerial antenna to make connection with the receiver, uh, your boot for the receiver, and put the strap on it. Then you have your connection cable. Okay, so um, today we're gonna be uh, installing this on uh, HBB 260. Um, I tend to go fast. So the phone number's gonna be at the bottom if you have any uh, questions. Uh, we set up a lot of them, so pretty quick. Um, take the, the receiver and uh, mount it in a good area uh, on a 260. I, I like going right by the operator control panel on the back side of it. You know, you, just, you size it up, drill the holes, pretty straightforward. And then I just run the cord down into the operator's control box. Um, I drill a small hole at the bottom and uh, run your manual cable here. Plug it in the machine, run it in the bottom of your box, drill a little RTV over the hole. That way you don't have any uh, moisture, and then you just wire it in directly instead of uh, on the hardline cord. Uh, and then I, I route the antenna the, the same direction. I put it in a good area, uh, usually right behind the muffler, so you don't have a, any wind hitting it. And not right, right to the, the receiver. Um, it comes with a little template in the book, pretty nice option. Um, copy from the book. I put a piece of tape on the machine, drill the holes, it sits right on there, run the hardware on. Pretty easy. Um, and then you got the transmitter. Um, they usually come normally with batteries in them already. You turn them on, check that it's good. Um, you can do this after the after you install it. So now that the, the receiver is in the machine and you, you've drilled a a 3 8 hole and you run your wire, your pigtail, into the machine. Um, you just want to test for power. Usually I grab power off of the power meter. There we go. Okay, so I, I go to, right to the hour meter, and then I, I grab the ground. You can see where the ground is in here that runs from the hour meter to the centralized grounding stud. Run to the centralized grounding stud. Um, if you look in the directions of the book, you're going to see a breakdown sheet. Um, there's going to be your book. This, this book is, is your operating instructions on, uh, on how to wire it. Each model is different. Um, there's a slight variance, so only if you have rev up and down volume control. So um, in the book you have a sheet, and I just marked it down for you so you could easily, e easily reference it. You got white as your power, green as your pump forward, white and yellow as your power, and then yellow as your reverse. And this is just for pump on and off. If you got a uh, rev up and down, of course now you've got violet you have to energize. And then you got tan for increase, pink for ground, or for volume going down on RPMs, and then brown for your ground. So you'll have to run two grounds. I wire it in um, on the appropriate wire. So you're gonna take the, your, your two hots and I run it on the hot side of the switch. This is a uh, for your pump forward. And this is gonna be your power switch going to pump pump on and off. So I run the hot the hot off of that. So you have you have hot. And then when you go into pump forward, this becomes hot. So that's gonna be your pump forward. And the same would be for reverse. 
Okay. All right. So I run the, I, I drill the three inch hole at the bottom, run the wire through, loop it around, zip tie it nice. Um, if you use um, on the, The time meter, you're going to have it's already going to be grounded, so you don't have to put an inline fuse in it. So it, it, it's you know it's best to run it on the machine itself instead of run power all the way to the battery and a ground all the way to the battery because then you have to use an extra part. Um, if you use the machine that's already got a fusible link, then it's a little bit easier, cost you, it'll save you a little money. Okay, so I'm going to hook up a uh, red and black power now, real quick, and ground just a little demonstration got power for you. We're gonna knock up the ground. We're gonna plug the machine in. We're gonna energize the system, and you have power. Okay, so um, go on your schematic. Um, Okay, so you got positive on white, so you're gonna take your white out and you're gonna hook this to pump forward, or uh, I'm sorry, pump power. Real simple. You're gonna hook that to pump power, and then your next one is gonna be, if you look at your diagram, it's gonna be green is for your forward. So when you press your button on your crane fitter, you're gonna get power on the green wire. Okay, so let me demonstrate that real quick. Light on the green. Here. And then we're going to turn the system on. You're going to turn your transmitter on. And then you're going to have it pump forward. There you go. And then hit it off. Stop. Okay. And then hit pump forward again. There you go. So that demonstrates pump forward. And then you're gonna do the same for reverse. So where do you hook up pump forward here? Pump, pump forward would be for your switch in forward. And that would be on your back wire here. Your back wire and that's pump forward. So you got in the middle, you got power coming in. Backside is pump forward. And then the top is reverse. And then that's how you hook up. Pump forward. Pump forward. And then um, for, uh, if your machine is, you know, does, does have increase and decrease on the RPMs, you hook up the violet on uh, positive, and then you'd hook your brown up on ground. And then when you increase, it's gonna throw power to the tan wire. Here, tan. And then um, when you hit reverse, it's gonna throw power on your pink wire. Here. Uh, it's the same as we did for the forward. We're gonna do the, the uh, reverse. So I'm gonna energize the gray wire and that's in your um, momentary, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, um, your, your solid power going to your uh, pump switch. So I'm gonna energize okay, that. So you're gonna hook your gray wire on your positive side of your toggle switch for pump and then now you're going to hook your yellow wire for reverse hit reverse hit off there you go that demonstrates reverse and forward so if you can think of this you're going to be hooking your gray wire and your white wire together and that's going to be on your forward I mean this is going to be for your power on your toggle switch and then you're gonna hit your yellow wire for reverse, and then the green wire for forward. So those four wires you're gonna use for, this is for forward and reverse. And then, and like I was demonstrating, then, then, you know, then you got your, your accessories if you have them.